take a look at diversity and leadership. Although leadership is important globally, most leadership theories were developed in the United States, so they have an American bias. Theories make a number of assumptions, employee responsibility rather than employee rights, self-gratification rather than employee commitment to duty and altruistic motivation, democratic values rather than autocratic values, and rationality rather than spirituality, religion, or superstition. Thus, the theories may not be as effective in cultures based on different assumptions. We need to abandon the one-size-fits-all assumption. However, charisma needs to be idealized across cultures. Within Europe, there are diverse management models which raise a range of management education issues. European managers deal with more cultural than technical issues in the context of a diverse value system and religious background. Management is organized more as a language than as a set of techniques. Thus, leaders of different cultures need to automatically lead differently. American, European, and Japanese executives realize that they must manage and lead their businesses' units in other countries differently than they do at home. Although cultural differences will continue to affect leadership, the instant communication, individualism, and material acquisition of global products in our society today threaten traditional family, religious, and social structures, and the trend towards the development of a more global blended culture continues. We don't look for a one-size-fits-all solution or leadership style.